Hey guys, welcome back to Fusion 360 in your Tech 10 class. I'll be your instructor today and my name's Aaron. Let's get started guys. So today you'll be drawing this um, housing joint here and you'll be it will be represented by um, structural timber which is approximately 70 mil uh, wide by 30 mil thick. Okay, so let's get started. Before we start guys, make sure that you're in your project. Remember it will have your name it won't be written your name, of course. It'll be Billy Smith or whatever. Double click on your project and open your timber folder that you started previously. Okay, first thing we do, guys, is click on create a new design and click save. And this one's going to be housing joint. Okay, remember to use capital letters at the start of the name, at the start of the word. And wait for it to populate and go up to the cloud. And you can see here, step one, guys, is create a new component. And close it here. Make sure we pick the parent file and type in here timber one. Okay, let's get started. Click on a new sketch. We're going to click the ground plane and you're going to go R for rectangle. Remember, if you forget where rectangle and all your sketching lives, it lives in the sketch drop down. You can pick them all up here circles, arcs, lines, etc. For this rectangle, guys, you're going to pick the one on the far right over here and it's going to be called a centre rectangle. You're going to snap from the centre and drag out. This will be 35mm, tab, 70mm, tab, enter. Now don't forget guys, I, whenever I'm doing my demonstration, I will always draw in millimetres, not centimetres. It will always be millimetres and I'll be drawing in a Z up in preferences. I'll always be drawing in Z up. You gotta make sure that yours represents that as well. Okay, we can extrude this now, guys. So press E for extrude. If your model doesn't reorientate and it stays in the top view like that, just click the home key, the home button, and bring it back to that isometric view. We're clicking that face and you're gonna type in 300. You're gonna extrude that up. Now using my scroll wheel, I can zoom out and click my scroll wheel to represent it, reposition this. Now with the housing joint, you'll know that there's a checkout that's been done. If I turn off the light bulb in my previous drawing, you can see that there's the housing joint there. I can turn that back on. Okay, so we need to create that now. So we need to select that front face. We click it once, it turns blue. We push the R key on the keyboard and we're gonna draw a rectangle. Now I'm gonna show you a couple of ways of doing this and you watch, you'll find which one's the easiest for you. So we're gonna type in 70 here, press the tab key type in 35, tab key, enter. Now, I need to position this in the center over here, but to get it accurately, there's two ways I can do it. There's probably more than two ways, but I'll show you two from here. I'm gonna do it uh, numerically, but using math, by pressing the D for dimension, and D for dimension, sorry, and click that one and drag out. Now, I know my timber length was 300, so I'm gonna use bracket, 300, subtract 35, close bracket. Now remember if you're doing BODMAS or BOMDAS, however you want to pronounce it, it will always do the operation in the brackets first. Slash means divided by, so same as a fraction, the, the line in a fraction means divided by two. And you can see here 132.5. So what we can do now guys, is we can use this tool here called collinear. If I click collinear and click that line and that line, it snaps to the middle, all right? Now using my inspect tool, I can prove that my numeracy, my mathematical um, formula worked by, I'm gonna click that bottom line and that line, and you'll see here it's 132.5. So I know that it worked, my uh, little equation. I'm gonna show you an easier way, guys. I'm gonna undo that, I'm gonna undo that one. Watch this. In your constraints, come over here and click midpoint. Click that left line, click that left line, boom and they snap together let's to prove my point click my inspect tool and click those two lines and we can see here 132.5 so we know we're right let's uh e for extrude if you don't want to use the shortcut key you can click create extrude here it will turn around into an iso view remember if it didn't you can just reposition it with your view cube over here you can move that around or hit the home key i'm going to click this sketch that i just drew and i'm going to type in negative now we need to do a little bit of uh, mass here, guys. Okay, it's 35 divided by two. Boom, and we have it. Now let's check it to make sure that I'm right. Inspect tool, 
I can click that line, I know that it's 17.5. I can then use my inspect tool to check between those two and 17.5. So I know I'm sm smack bang in the center. Okay, what do we need to do now? Well, as always, we need to create a new component. So a new component, close that box, click up at the parent file called housing joint, double click in there and type in timber two. And you can see now that we're starting to get a bit of a repetition flow here, guys. If you've done tutorial one and tutorial two, uh, you did the butt joint first, you did the rebate joint tutorial second, and now the housing joint third, you can see that uh, there's a, a common theme that's happening here. Click OK. Righto. We're going to click a new sketch. I'm going to click this front window here. Now, before I start sketching, I'm going to actually click, and I'll show you this from an isometric view, I want to click that face. Now I press R for rectangle. I'm going to view onto that face and I'm going to sketch my rectangle in there. Now I'm going to check to make sure it's there. Yep, it didn't, it didn't draw on the front face, it actually drew on that face. Okay, now you'll notice guys that because I've drawn there, all the lines are black. If they didn't turn black, watch this, all right? If my lines are black, it means it's fully defined. I cannot change it, all right? It will not move. Watch this. If it's blue, you can see it can still move. If I wanted to, this one here, it, I cannot move it, all right, guys? So I'm gonna delete that one. I'm gonna press E for extrude. I'm gonna click that, what I just drew, and I'm gonna pull it out this way now to 300. Uh, if it wants to go the other way, guys, just put a negative symbol there, and I'll push it out the other way and make sure it says new body, click OK. All right, so if I turn it on at a parent level up the top here, guys, you can see I have my housing joint there. All right, I'll just un undo that. Let's put it as a built joint again. So assembly uh, as a built joint, click one, click two, click OK. Uh, once again, guys, I'd like you to put some appearance on this so it looks good. Uh, I'm gonna use a semi-gloss on this one, semi and semi and you can see the knots in the timber and it looks really cool, doesn't it? So you've got to love this CAD stuff, guys, and Fusion 360, it's just the, it's the bomb. Alrighty, thank you, I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next joint and we're doing a cross-halving joint.